can non-alcoholic fatty liver disease be reduced with coffee, fiber, and Mediterranean diet? Are you aware of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease or NAFLD? NAFLD is a disease related to the accumulation of fat in the liver over time, primarily affecting individuals who are overweight or obese. In its early stages, this disease usually doesn't cause harm, but it can eventually lead to severe liver damage, including cirrhosis. Consequently, having excessive fat in the liver increases the risk of diabetes, high blood pressure, kidney diseases, and heart problems, especially in individuals already diagnosed with diabetes. However, if NAFLD is diagnosed and treated early, its severity can be reduced prevented, and the accumulation of fat in the liver can be decreased. In a study, researchers discussed various dietary patterns for managing NAFLD. It was found that individuals following a Western diet rich in fats have a higher risk of developing NAFLD. On the other hand, the Mediterranean diet, which is traditionally followed by countries around the Mediterranean Sea, emphasizes consuming foods derived from plants. This includes mainly beans, fruits, dried fruits, pumpkin, seeds, cucumber, watermelon seeds, etc. The Mediterranean diet is rich in good fats and dietary fiber, and low in carbohydrates and glycemic index. Saturated fats, commonly found in Western food, can inhibit phospholipid metabolism, leading to mitochondrial dysfunction, production of reactive oxygen species, and cell apoptosis. Moreover, excessive consumption of animal protein can exacerbate this disease in obese individuals. Furthermore, food directly contributes to de novo lipogenesis, where liver cells convert excess carbohydrates, primarily fructose, into fatty acids. Excessive intake of sucrose, fructose, and high fructose corn syrup, along with fructose, increases the risk of steatosis and non-alcoholic steatohepatitis in individuals with obesity and overweight. In contrast, fish rich in omega-3 fatty acids can produce liver fat and help in preventing NAFLD, mainly in individuals with high weight and obesity, Consuming sucrose, fructose, and high fructose corn syrup, along with fructose, increases the risk of steatosis and non-alcoholic steatohepatitis. Additionally, fish rich in omega-3 fatty acids can reduce liver fat and help prevent NAFLD, non-alcoholic steatohepatitis, and fibrosis. Moreover, high fiber diets and whole grains affect gut microbiota composition, influencing the communication between the gut and liver. This can reduce the development of NAFLD, non-alcoholic steatohepatitis, and fibrosis. So next time you enjoy your coffee or dig into a fiber-rich meal, remember, you're doing your liver a favor. Stay healthy, stay informed, and we'll see you in the next video.